Hello and welcome to Emerald Meadows, your one-stop channel for all things RC quilting and 3D printing. Uh, today is another quad day. Um, as you know, this is the WL Toys and there's a screw that I can't lose uh, because today we are actually going to be uh, doing a mod to the uh, Q222. Um, as you know, this is um, uh, one of the quads that I really like uh, for the uh, low-priced uh, quad with uh, some really good features for people that want to enjoy uh, flying quadcopters and having um, uh, having that FPV experience. So uh, this was really this is really a good uh, a good quad. However, it has one problem that just drives me nuts: is that the compartment for the battery is too small. I can't put in any batteries. I purchased some new um, 1.2 uh, 1.2 amp batteries and uh, they're not going in here okay uh, the big thing is, is that there's a little little divider in there so the battery this is the battery that's designed for it which is super small and super thin but and it gives you six minutes of flight time not good enough for me because I mean once I get my FPV goggles on there I get into an easy chair and I can fly for quite some time. So this fits in really nice, but I need to fit in the bigger batteries so that I can uh, extend my flight time. The problem is that the space allowed in there is not very big. So today we're going to be uh, modifying this. You can see I've already started uh, and uh, because we had to, there are screws underneath the motors uh, in, order to, um, in order to remove the body. And now I'm just going to do a bit of a close-up and show you all the places where there are screws. Just in case you think, oh, it's not coming apart and you're going to pull it off and break it. Don't break it. I'll show you where the screw, all the screws come out. There's a couple of hidden in there. Uh, and then you can take it off. And we can then do our quick little mod uh, of um, making the battery compartment uh, just a little bit bigger and extending our antenna just a little bit. We're just going to put a little hole in there so that this antenna uh, can uh, pop out. And I, I don't know if it'll give you much range difference, but uh, any time that you can get these antennas exposed, uh, I think the better it is. So uh, let's get started with uh, a close-up view of where all the screws go. And so in order to get started on this, um, in order to take the main body off, you have to remove the props and there is a screw uh, in the prop uh, that lines up uh, with the uh, with the prop shaft here. So you've got to kind of find out where that screw hole is and remove the screw that holds the prop on. And once you remove the prop, these four uh, drive shafts come out. This is the, the shaft there. This will just simply prop up. So you do that for all four of the um, props and and gears and now you're ready to uh, take out uh, all the screws that are in the body now once you remove the uh, the prop then you're going to find that there's uh, three screws one two one on either side and one on the end uh, and that's for every one of these uh, motor mounts there is a screw in each of those then there is a you have to take these screws out for the landing gear I'm assuming you'll, you'll do that first. Then there's a screw in here on each of the arms. Okay, right about at the midpoint. And then there's a screw on each side uh, of the unit. Uh, once you've taken out all those screws, you should be able to just simply pull the body off. Okay, and spin this around. And now we have the uh, main body of the uh, multi cup uh, of the uh, drone. Now, uh, if you can look inside there, there's a, it's pretty hard to see, but there's a little little plastic divider that separates the battery from the board. Uh, we're going to be removing that and then supplying some insulation to the board so it doesn't doesn't get damaged. So now there's four screws on the board. We're going to remove those four screws and pull the board off. Now, uh, as some of you who have done my other work before, before I go on any further, I'm going to actually mark this with my handy dandy fabric marker. And I'm going to let that dry uh, because I want to be taking out all these plugs off the board. 
And I want to make it simple for me to reinstall it by just simply having all of these things color coded in some way. So I'm going to color code all these, let it dry, and then we'll disassemble the uh, board. Okay, now that I've removed the, uh, the board, okay, uh, from the unit, uh, you can see that there is these little strips of plastic here. And this is where, this is what uh, protects the motherboard or the controller board from the, uh, from the battery from flopping up and down. What we're going to do, it also prevents you from putting in a decent sized battery. So um, it will allow for this smaller battery to go in, but it won't allow for these, these thicker batteries, uh, 1.2 amp to go in. I have a lot of other bigger batteries that just won't fit in. So what I'm going to do next now is I'm going to cut these, uh, these two pieces of plastic off, okay, and then what we're going to do, we're, the next what we're going to do is insulate the bottom of this board and put a shield on it and then place it back into the unit so that we can put in bigger batteries. So uh, let's move to the next step of cutting off uh, these two uh, pieces of plastic. I'm now going to use the hot knife here to uh, cut this uh, plastic here. Um, this is a can candy little knife by, uh, I, don't know I, got. I got this from uh, one of the hobby stores uh, and I use it for cutting foam and plastic. Uh, it really works uh, when doing any of the um, uh, plain work with foam and I need to mold the foam. And for doing with plastic I can just simply trim the plastic off and I get a nice smooth cut. Perfect. Okay, that's all I need to do uh, to trim that off. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I have a template here, a plastic template shield that I'm going to use. I simply mark that down on the bottom so it matches the holes. And I drill those holes and I kind of mark the corners and now I'm just going to cut that with scissors. I'm just going to cut these, I marked my corners. I, don't know, I want to be neat but I don't need to be crazy. Uh, the piece of plastic I, I just got from packaging from a from a from a packaging product. Uh, I don't know where, but that's all it was 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 just so I can use that now as my shield on the bottom. So if the battery hits it, uh, it won't damage the board. I mean, it's obviously that it can do some damage if it lands really hard. But I'm going to put you're going to see the next step is I'm going to put uh, an insulator on there and then reinstall everything. So let's get the insulator. Okay, now that I have uh, my little uh, protector with one level of foam that will be attached to the bottom of the, uh, of the controller card, I can't um, put too much foam on this part so far because these connections have to be accessible if you're going to be adding any devices. But I will be adding another level of foam underneath uh, to give it that uh, little bit of protection without jeopardizing or changing the height too much of these connectors. As you can see, I placed in a 1.2 amp battery. It's going to fit nicely, and even with this added uh, protection, this battery will, uh, uh, these will not interfere with each other. So let's uh, reassemble the controller card and put the foam on. Okay, now that we have our uh, control board back on board again, and uh, we now have room to uh, we now have room to plug in any of our accessories, um, even with the uh, insulation on board. Um, we're now going to make another little modification. We're actually going to drill a hole uh, so that this we're going to drill a hole so this antenna uh, can stick out uh, through the top. And uh, we're just simply going to measure the distance uh, that this is. Okay, and it is roughly 19, I'd say 20 millimeters. And we'll take the, uh, the, the top case and we're going to flip it over. Mark on here uh, 20 millimeters. And then I've already marked it with marked it with a uh, with a magic gold magic marker and I'm simply going to drill a hole into this 
uh, for the axis for my uh, antenna and I will put some hot melt on that when I reassemble it. But right now I have to uh, re-plug in all my controls, the switch and everything was of course marked and color coded when we took it apart. Now before I uh, close the lid on the top I'm going to put a battery on and make sure that um, uh, everything is spinning up. Okay, so now let's uh, just put the battery in. I'm just going to power on the unit. Okay, and I'm just going to check my motors. And I can feel them. All working now I'm going to uh, put the uh, the top case back on again uh, fish my antenna through and uh, we'll run a flight and see how long it lasts with the uh, new uh, battery in it so let's uh, let's assemble Well, that wasn't too smart of me. I actually, uh, I actually didn't mark which way the props go when I took this off. So uh, I did go online and found out which way the props do go on, and this is it here. But aren't I embarrassed? I should have known a lot better to actually mark the props before I took them off. So I know uh, the rotation and which are going counterclockwise, which are going clockwise. And this is how it's labeled in the in the unit. So it is uh, ooh, what was that? What's that ever silly of me? So these are the back left and the top right are regular props counterclockwise and the top left and bottom right are counterclockwise so uh, yeah wow and now i got that on i'll continue that for the other shafts and put the landing gear on and we'll do our test going to stop at nine minutes just to give the uh, motors a rest but uh, you can see it uh, that is a definite improvement well we hope you enjoyed this video on uh, a simple modification to uh, this uh, this um, small little quad um, I added a bit of glue to keep that uh, antenna from slipping back in um, and it wasn't that hard I mean obviously it's harder when you're doing it on video but uh, other than losing a few screws, I have no idea. You always lose screws. Uh, I ended up just losing one, and uh, I don't know where it is. It probably got stuck on the motor somewhere. Uh, but um, you saw that we really did substantial uh, more time, uh, flight time. The motors, uh, after that demonstration, the motors weren't warm at all, and the battery wasn't warm. So uh, uh, this was a this was a, a, a quick and, and good little mod. So. Um, be careful when you do it. I certainly don't want people to wreck, uh, wreck their uh, products, but uh, I didn't find it that difficult to do and it's going to give me a lot more uh, outdoor flying time. Obviously it's small uh, and on light uh, to no to light breeze, uh, this still will be a lot of fun, especially with the altitude hold. The wind may blow it this way, but it will it'll stay, stay in place. So I'll be adding my camera and uh, going for a flight tomorrow and see what it's like. So thank you very much for joining us. And if you like this video, say like and uh, please subscribe. Um, that uh, certainly uh, gives me motivation to do more of these videos. So thank you very much. Have a great day. And thank you for watching my video. Bye-bye.